war, war, war. Ah, Peter, you're just in time to help me with Mrs. Hammond's order. You know my boy, he's still stationed over there. One can of pork and beans. Did you see what Robert Wilson said in his column today? He says, unless we're prepared, there's just no way of avoiding it. One can of pork and beans, Peter. The scientists say we'll all be blown to bits in the next one. I declare I don't know what the world's coming to. Seems like it's human nature to want to kill. Well, if it's human nature to kill, all the more reason we should be ready, just in case the other fellow wants to start something. Well, Sophie, if that's human nature, we'd better change it. Or there won't be anything human left to change. Nobody wants war. Anyway, whatever it is we have to face, we better be ready for it. We better be ready in our thinking too, Mary. Not just with our bombs. I say we ought to stop thinking about fighting each other and think some about understanding each other. And that means all of us. When everybody all over the world talks about nothing but war, what do you think we'll get? War. Well, all right now, we'd better talk about being prepared so that we'll have time to talk about peace and understanding. People say another war means the end of the world. War will come, want it or not. The only question is when. Just in time to get more youngsters like Peter. <laughs> going to be blown up and everybody killed. Is it, Grant? Many's the time I thought it might, lad. Especially on a night like this. When everything is feeling and looking sorry and gray-like. Sure, that's why I keep a bit of green about always. It was Eileen's teaching it was. She couldn't stand being without a plant or a bit of evergreen about. It kept her mindful she'd say on a lonely night that spring would come. Oh, I can remember how she turned to me, looking all mystical and sweet, and she'd say, the wind don't know what I know, stamping about like a mad old bull scaring people to an early grave. The wind don't know that spring will come again. But I know. I know. Yes, the bit of green helped her, it did. It's the color of spring. It meant hope and a promise of new life. Oh, hush up, wind. Hush up. You don't fool me either. Believe me, laddie. No matter what people say at the time, the world will keep on going for a long, long while. And you know what, me bucko? I forgot with all me blathern to tell you the most special and best thing of all. There'll be a grand surprise for you in the morning. It's the way Grant was, trying so hard to take your mind off things with surprises. But I just had a feeling something terrible was going to happen. And it did all right, the very next morning. 